Hello friends, in the previous video we discussed about structure of double stranded DNA. We discussed about the most common form of DNA that is BDNA. We discussed about its features. We also discussed about the reasons why double stranded DNA is twisted. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. Today we are going to discuss about two other forms of the DNA that is A and Z form of DNA and then we will see the comparison between all the three forms of the DNA A, B and Z form. So first of all let us see A DNA. It has right handed helix or it is right handed DNA. It is broader and more compressed along its axis than B DNA that is compared to B DNA. It is shorter and wider. A DNA has slightly higher base pair per turn. That is number of the base pair per helical turn is slightly higher compared to B DNA. As a result, it has smaller twist angle and smaller rise per base pair. So, because the number of the base pair per turn is higher, so the distance between the two base pair is smaller compared to that of B DNA. Base pairs are displaced away from the central axis and are closer to major groove. These are found in dehydrated samples of DNA. That is when there is reduction in the water content. And these rarely occur under normal physiological circumstances. In these circumstances, B DNA is favored or B DNA occur. There are certain conditions that favor A form of DNA. These are A DNA is favored by low hydration, hence observe under conditions of reduced water content. It is favored by certain stretches of purines or pyrimidines. Certain protein binding also strip of solvent of DNA and force it to adopt A form. When certain protein binds to the DNA, the water content is reduced and under the reduced water content or low hydration, A form of DNA is favored. A form of DNA is an adaptation of hyperthermophilic archaeal viruses which protect DNA under harsh environmental conditions. So in the archaeal viruses which are hyperthermophilic, a form of the DNA is favored because only this form of DNA is protected under harsh environmental conditions. Now let us see Z DNA. It is different from right handed forms. A and B DNA are right handed form but it is left handed. Phosphodiester backbone has zigzag pattern. It can be formed when the DNA has an alternating purine pyrimidine sequence such as GC, GC and so on. So because G and C nucleotides have different conformation, hence it leads to zigzag pattern. It is transient form of DNA that is it exists occasionally in response to certain types of biological activity and then quickly disappears hence difficult to study. So this form of the DNA is not permanent but it is transient. So conditions that favor Z DNA. Z DNA is favored by high salt concentration. It is most readily formed by alternating purine pyrimidine steps such as GC GC repeat unit. Binding of certain proteins to B DNA drive it to Z forms or A forms. So when certain proteins bind to B DNA the conformation is either Z form or A form negative DNA supercoiling and some cations also favors Z DNA. Now let us compare A, B and Z form of DNA. First is the helix. A form right handed, B form right handed and Z form left handed. So A and B form are right handed but Z form is left handed. Repeating unit A form one base pair, B form one base pair and Z form it is two base pair number of base pair per turn. In A form it is 10.7, B form it is 10.4 and in Z form it is 12. Helix diameter that is distance between two strands of DNA. 
In A form it is 23 angstrom, B form it is 20 angstrom and Z form it is 18 angstrom. So A form is the broadest and Z form is the narrowest. Now the axial rise that is distance between two base pairs. In A form it is 2.3 angstrom, B form it is 3.32 angstrom and Z form it is 3.8 angstrom. Now helix pitch. Helix pitch is length of one helical turn or distance of one helical turn. A form it is 24.6 angstrom, B form it is 33.2 angstrom and Z form it is 45.6 angstrom. Now the base pair tilt, it is the angle that the plane of base pair forms with the helical axis. In A form it is 20 degree, B form it is minus 6 degree and Z form it is 7 degree. Glycosidic bond, A form it is anti, B form it is anti and in Z form it is anti for adenine, cytosine and thymine and sin for guanine. Now sugar percal, in A form it is C3 dash endo, B form it is C2 dash endo and in Z form Adenine, cytosine, thymine, it is C2 dash endo and guanine, it is C3 dash endo. Major groove. In A form, it is narrow and deep. B form, it is wide and deep and Z form, it is flat. Minor groove. In A form, it is wide and shallow. B form, it is narrow and deep and in Z form also, it is narrow and deep. So now the reasons for existence of different forms of DNA or why different forms of DNA exist in cell or nucleus. We know that conditions are not always favorable. Sometimes conditions are also unfavorable like low water content, high salt, high temperature etc. In order to protect DNA under unfavorable conditions, different forms of DNA exist because BDNA occurs in normal physiological conditions. But when hydration is low, ADNA occurs or ADNA is favored. Similarly, ZDNA is favored by high salt. These that is non-BDNA can also interact with proteins involved in replication, gene expression and recombination. DNA is required to be compacted to fit inside cell nucleus due to lack of enough space. There is not enough space in the cell or in the nucleus where stretch DNA can easily fit. So it is important for DNA to be compact in order to fit inside the cell or nucleus. Hence, different types of structures are formed. And DNA is a coil-coil structure. We already know this and we will discuss it in detail in separate video. Hence, these DNA have important role in the formation of nucleosomes, etc so that the DNA becomes compact and can fit easily in the nucleus of the cell. In living cells, most of the DNA is in a mixture of A and B DNA forms. And sometimes few regions are also capable of forming Z DNA, but it is transient structure, it is not permanent. So later on it disappears. So this is all for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.